Garnet, it's your boy, Kurt Seven, here for episode 13 of my Manchester United career match. Lads, today is the day, transfer deadline day. Now, I was just taking a look at the players that we've got. Now, lads, just remember, we have got no money. In fact, let me just quickly show you. Have a look at this, lads. If I put it 50-50, take a look at this, all right? Our transfer budget is not even half a million dollars and our wages is 8,000 pounds. We've got zilch, we've got nothing. But we need to buy someone, lads. We need to sell. So just taking a look at my squad, having a look, who can I sell? And even better more, who can I bring in? Ronaldo, he ain't going nowhere. We just got in. Robin, Di Maria, they're not going anywhere. Pjanic, Pjanic is the heart and soul of the midfield. If we lose Pjanic, We've pretty much got no world-class midfielders, you know. I've got Wayne Rooney in there, but he's not really a midfielder. You know, Herrera's good, and Daly Blin's good, and Fellaini's good, but they're not world, world-class, if you know what I mean. I can't sell Pjanic. Rooney's not going nowhere. Benzema just good in. Hummels, he ain't going nowhere. Hernandez, I put him on a transfer list in case we get a big offer. I want to keep Hernandez, and that's the same with Nani. I kind of want to keep him, you know what I mean? Herrera's going nowhere. Uh, De Gea's going nowhere. Smalling, again, I put him on the transfer list. Because I play Hummels and Jones at centre half. Uh, Jones going nowhere. Daily Blind going nowhere. Raphael not going anywhere. You know, so th that's pretty much what I'm working with at the minute, lads. So I'm just going to wait to transfer deadline day. See what happens. See what offers we get. All right, lads. So we've got an offer here for John Stones, a defender that I haven't even used once this season. From Werder Bremen, they want six and a half million. I'm going to counter that. Because I don't even think I'll, I'll need him for the last six months. Probably, let's go 10 million. I know they're probably not going to accept 10, but you just got to try a luck. It'll be sad to see uh, Stones go, but Stones is a player, you get him in a career mode that you're really going to use him up. If I was continuing this career mode, I'd probably keep him, but because I'm not, hopefully Werder Bremen come back uh, and say yes. All right, Werder Bremen have come back and said they'll go as high as 7.1. So, I'm going to try and squeeze as much cash as we can out of them. 7.5, and they can have John Stones. Alright, that's transfer deadline day. 10 hours to go. Let's see if we get any huge offers. There we go, lads. Verda Bremen have said they'll accept the deal of 7.5 million for John Stones. See you later, bud. Thiago Alicantara has gone to Liverpool. Ericsson's gone to PSG. Jeez, this is pretty massive, lads. Got an offer for Will Keane to go on loan, so we're just going to accept that. And also the other key, Michael Keane to go out on loan to Middlesbrough as well. I'm going to accept both those deals. All right, lads, we've got an offer for Vermal to go out on loan as well. So I'm going to accept that for Crystal Palace. Four hours to go, and I still have not got the money for John Stones yet. What's going on there? Oh, here we go. A massive offer. Here we go. Hernandez from Roma. Seeing that it's only six months to go, I don't really need the cash because I think we're that late in the transfer window. Um, there's only a couple hours to go. I don't think we're going to get anyone. So, you know, the money's pretty uh, irrelevant at the minute. So, 35 million. And uh, let's see if Roma accept that. I doubt it. All right, there we go. Roma have said the most they're going to spend is 25 and a half million for him. So, I'm just going to go ahead and reject that offer. All right, lads, two hours to go in a transfer market. Looks like we're not selling or buying anyone on transfer deadline day. And there we go, lads. Transfer deadline day is officially over. So this is the final team that we're going to be heading in with this career mode, lads. And I just want to show you something pretty funny. We just seen the email that Werder Bremen accepted the deal for Stones and he's still at the club. That transfer did not go through for whatever reason. They didn't tell me anything, so I think that's a bit of a career mode uh, a glitch where something's not right there. But anyways, lads, Stones is our player for the rest of the season. We did not sell him in the end. All right, lads, so in this episode, we've got three Premier League games. we got one against Stoke at home, then we've got one away to Norwich, and again, we're at home to Watford. Pretty much, you'll be expecting us to pick up nine points from these three games. All right, lads, so let's get to that first game against Stoke at Old Trafford. I'm going with a 4-4-2 against Stoke, Ronaldo, and Rooney up front. Uh, Rooney in the centre forward position behind Ronaldo, who's a striker, out and out striker for this game. Uh, De Marie on the left, Pjanic and Herrera in the middle of the park, Robin on the right, 
Back four, Shaw, Hummels, Jones, Raphael, and of course, the Haya in Gale. Right, come on, lads, big one. We need a big one here. All right, come on, lads, three points in the bag. We need it. It's not in the bag, but we need it in the bag, if you know what I mean. Come on, United, let's go. Raphael sees the run of Robin. Getting down the wing, he was. Iron Robin. Come on, Robin. Give it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo in the middle. Ronaldo gets his head on it, but that kind of angle, I don't think he was ever going to threaten the goalkeeper there. Herrera. Pjanic. Pjanic. Di Maria. Di Maria sees Ronaldo. Ronaldo. He leaves it. Ronaldo. I'm stuck for options. I'm just going to cross this in. Come on, get to the back post. Look at this. Who's in there? Pjanic hits the crossbar. Oh my gosh. Mate, what a player. All right, Herrera sees Robin. Iron Robin sees Ronaldo. Give it to him. No, it's Di Maria. Di Maria, can he get it across to Ronaldo? No, it's Rooney at the back post. Oh, who cares who it was at the back post? Nobody was getting to that. Jesus. Oh, no. Wayne Rooney's injured. It was an awkward land, wasn't it? And I think he hit his head on the post, but he's holding his ankle. But anyways, lads, I'm bringing on Benzema for Wayne Rooney. Benzema pushing him up top and Ronaldo putting him center forward. All right, Robin. Robin sees Benzema. Can he get there? Hit it first time. Benzema! What a save from Stecklenburg. Tell you what, Pjanic is on the ball. Pjanic. Pjanic. He sees Benzema. Benzema! Oh, what a nifty little through ball that was. Oh, half a chance right there. De Maria to take the corner. Hummels is there. Hummels! Hummels over the bar. Alright lads, I'm bringing on Javier Hernandez and Adnan Yanaze. Hopefully lads, we need a goal in the last 15 minutes. Hopefully they can do it. Oh look at this, Robin's got some space. Robin, come on Robin, get it in there. Iron Robin, get the cross into Hernandez. Javier Hernandez, <gasps> what a save. I genuinely thought that was in. Oh nah, that did not happen. Oh what a save from Stecklenburg. Oh no, Dave's out, Dave. Well done, Dave. Come on, Benzema, win that, win that. Oh, he's won it, he's won it. Hernandez, Javier Hernandez, give it to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, yes! Yes! Oh my God, lads, I thought it was Cristiano Ronaldo running through the middle, but it wasn't. It was bloody Adnan Yenese, the two substitutes combining together oh my god yes, yes. come on lads hold on hold on hold on here don't want to concede a goal now get it out get it out yes lads <laughs> Woo! what a game that was or what a finish oh my word i genuinely thought lads it just wasn't gonna happen Oh, mate, I am so pumped. As we take a look at the player ratings, lads, we can see Iron Robin was man of the match. 7.4 performance. All right, lads, so as we can see here, Wayne Rooney has suffered a broken ankle. It's going to be out for three months, and we're in February, so I'm pretty sure Wayne Rooney's gone for the season. Alright lads, so the next game we're away to Norwich City. So with the injury to Wayne Rooney lads, we're going to be lining up that little bit different. Still the same formation, 4-4-2, but just a little bit different. Benzema was starting up front. Look at that, he's in just goal scoring form at the minute. We're going to play Di Maria in the camp just behind him. And we're going to play Ronaldo on the left wing, but very advanced, very forward. Uh, Robin, he's just going to be the right midfielder because uh, we need that little bit of cover in the midfield uh, just in, in case we get hit on the counter back uh, on the counter attack. Sorry, and in the middle of the park, lads, we've got Pjanic and Herrera, uh, Luke Shaw, Hummels, Jones, Raphael, and uh, De Gea in goal. All right, here we go. Come on, United, let's do it for Waza. Oh my gosh, don't score now, Dave! Get it out, get it out, get it out! Oh my gosh, Hummel's off the line. I haven't done that in a while. I promise I will not be doing that again. <laughs> oh, well done, Jones. Well done. Di Maria, look at this on the counter attack, lads. Pjanic, Pjanic. He sees Ronaldo. Pjanic, that's a lovely ball. Cristiano Ronaldo to Benzema. Should have just had the shot with Ronaldo. All right, Di Maria on the ball. Di Maria, look at the run from Phil Jones going past. Jones, can he put in Herrera? And Herrera gets it, lads. Woo! 
Woo! That goal was all Phil Jones coming up to help Di Maria. Puts in a lovely ball to Andy Herrera who tucks it in to the bottom corner. What a nifty little play that was, lads. Get in, lads. We take the lead. 1-0. Jones to Pjanic. Pjanic. He sees Rafael. Rafael. That's a lovely little bit of skill there. Benzema! Gets in, lads. 2-0. Tell you what. Well done, Rafael. Getting around the defender. And what a superb ball to Karim Benzema who continues the goal scoring form. Mate, Benzema, I've got to say, he's doing a much better job than Falcao and uh, Javi Martinez did in the first half of the season. He can't stop scoring the lad. Oh, Di Maria, you can't lose the ball there, son. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh, lads, we've been let off the hook there. Her Herrera to Robin. Robin sees Di Maria. Di Maria, can he get it in? Yes, Di Maria gets in on the action. And you've got to say, lads, this game is game set. And match. Robin with that lovely through ball to Di Maria. And Di Maria with another goal on his right foot on the wrong side. Gets it past the keeper. 3-0, lads. Hernandez fresh off the bench. Here we go. Ronaldo, can you play a 1-2 with him? Hernandez over the top. Ronaldo, can he get there? Of course he's going to get there. Cristiano Ronaldo misses it. Puts it wide. Why did you shoot with your left foot, lad? Olsen. Olsen. Come on, lads. Stop the cross. Get it out. Phil Jones. Well done. Here we go, lads. The full-time whistle has gone. Done and dusted. Easy game. Easy three points. 3-0. Three, three points coming home with us. All right, lads. The last game of the episode. We're at home to Watford in the Premier League. All right, lads. Completely switching up the squad today. Now, for some reason, uh, Di Maria and Rojo, my Argentinian players, could not play because of international duty. That has never happened before. So, I couldn't pick both of them. And they're both going to play in this game. But, anyways, lads. Benzema up top. We've got Ross Barkley replace, uh, replacing Di Maria behind him. Ronaldo out on the left. Now, in the middle of the park, lads, we've got Song and Daly Blind. Now, we're going to give Robin a rest. Play Nani on the uh, right wing. Now, at the back, lads, it's totally changed. Fabio Cohen to our left back. Stones and Smalling at centre half. That's where I would have played Rojo. Nathaniel Klein on the right. And of course, still never changing the higher in go. Come on, lads. We've got to be winning this. We should be thumping Watford, really. But I'll just take the three points. All right, lads. This is this is not good. This is not good. This is... Oh, my... What? No. Five minutes in, I'm already conceding a goal. You're kidding me. What in the world happened there? Smalling out of position. Oh, mate, we have got to be doing better than that. All right, Benzema's on the ball. Karim Benzema. Just have a shot, son. Benzema! Oh, what a save from the keeper. This is good, lads. Daily blend. Look at this. Benzema to Ross Barkley. Hit it, son. Ross Barkley straight into the keeper. We've got to be scoring those. Jesus, lads. All right, Ronaldo to Daily Blind. Daily Blind. Come on, Benzema. Let it run, son. Benzema. Hit it across the keeper. Absolutely shite goalkeeping from the goalkeeper there. That should never have been a goal, but the man that just cannot stop scoring keeps on scoring. Karin Benzema smashed it. What a hit his armpit and went in. I don't know. Let's take a second look at this, lads. It's gone. Yeah, it's just hit him under the arm. Should be saving that. I don't care, lads. 1-1. One, one. Game on. Oh, well done, Ross Barkley. Come on, Benzema. Make the run. Benzema. Benzema. Ross Barkley. That's a good ball. Karim Benzema. Come on, Karim Benzema. Oh, just that second too long to hit the shot. Daily blind on the ball. Daily blind. Goes wide to Ronaldo. Ronaldo rips his opponent. Ronaldo's got some room. He's opening up. Cristiano Ronaldo. And I'll tell you what, I think Ross Barkley blocked that. All right, lads, making a few substitutions, bringing on the goal machine, Hernandez. But, lads, I'm also switching to a 3-5-2 formation. I really got to go for it now. Benzema to Ronaldo. Cristiano Ronaldo's got some space. Ronaldo, step over. Cristiano Ronaldo! No! What a block! He's still got it! Oh, my gosh, lads. What do I have to do to score? Ross Barkley. He sees Nani out wide. One of Nani. Hernandez has got it. Doesn't matter. Hernandez puts it in. Who's in there? Oh my gosh. So close to Ronaldo. Oh, Daily Blind. Here we go. Daily Blind. Look at this. Ronaldo. Here we go. Hernandez. Hernandez. Go to Nani, son. Nani. 
Come on, Nani. What can you do, son? Oh, has he won a penalty? No penalty for that? You're kidding me. This referee, I tell you what. Oh, now he's injured too. So you're telling me that that was not a penalty? Yeah, okay. Good game, EA Sports. Good game. Oh, no. Because I'm all out of tech now, lads. There's no defenders whatsoever. Oh, Jesus. And you're telling me... You're kidding me. So I don't get the penalty. My player gets injured. And now their first shot of the whole freaking half... Watford take the lead 2-1. Come on, Ronaldo. Come on, son. Ronaldo, Benzema, back to Hernandez. Hernandez! He's offside. You're kidding me. How is that offside? Let's see how close this was. Uh, he was off. He was offside. Lads, we have just dropped three points at home to Watford. It's not like we didn't deserve to win because, mate, we absolutely did everything possible. You just have those games on FIFA where you just dominate and dominate and dominate and just can't put them away. Lads, we've got an injury to Nani. We should have had a penalty at the end. And, um, yeah, full credit to Watford. As you can see, lads, Karim Benzema was man of the match with a 7.6 performance. Alright lads, as we check out the Premier League table, the big news is Chelsea are into second place and they are three points behind us. And lads, that loss to Watford was our first defeat of the season. Invincibles no more. Who would have thought Watford at home, eh? But lads, in saying that, we've been dra drawing way too many as well. So hopefully that loss was the kick up the ass we need and we can go push on now. So it's still a six points gap to Tottenham. Um, but lads, we really want to finish first this season. So lads, from now on, I'm really going to get my head down, stuck in and win every single game. But con in saying that, lads, we've only conceded 12 goals. And, and we've scored 43, the most in the Premier League, conceded the least. So... We're pretty good on that front. It's just disappointing losing to Watford. But anyways, lads, that's the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have, please drop a like. It's always welcome. If you're not subscribed and you're liking the content, hit that subscribe button. Very easy. And if you want to follow me on Facebook, on Twitter, you want to see my photos on Instagram, click the link in the description. But anyways, lads, I've been your boy, Kyoto7. Stay tuned to episode 14. Take care. And peace! Pro Evolution 2015. As well, it's just getting unbelievable mad review scores. It's got a 9.0 out of 10, and that's very, very high. Pro Evolution 2015. The pitch is ours. That's their slogan for the uh, 2015 game 